All right, Pisces, let's see what your message here is. Beware of indulging in negative or depressive tendencies. So this could be you guys right now. You guys could be trying to come out of a depressive state. I'm sorry for that. Could have been something you've been going through or reflecting upon. But let's get some more cards to see what Pisces has in store. Please keep in mind this could pertain to your past, your present, your potential near future. And not only talking about you, but people, situations, energies going on around you, okay? Can we get cards for Pisces? This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Make sure that you're checking out your Rising Sign Zodiac and your Moon Sign Zodiac as well, so you can get a bigger picture on what's going on in your life, okay? Yeah, there's a lot of burdens on your shoulders right now. Depressive tendencies. Getting out into nature here. Could be called to do that. Innocence, beginner, new skill without practice, unstable curiosity. So indulging maybe a little bit. Be careful in what you're indulging in. This is Spirit's message, not mine to you. Okay, please keep in mind I am just the tool using the tools. The B, luck, industrious, sweet victory coming up for you guys though. And I've got 757 down here too. So someone might want to look up that meaning behind the number 757. Music, history, the enchantment of storytelling. Okay, so this for you Pisces, this could be something that you're just wanting to deny. You're not wanting to accept. Either this is uh, something, something uh, within somebody else that you saw or you've experienced, or this could be something within yourself as well. Pride and leadership. The new path that's opening up for you is a one that you're you're being more proud of yourself. I cut the deck on the eagle. Hold on. And we have the spider. Creative projects. Sweet victory in these creative projects. You've got the number synchronicity. Five, six, seven, eight. And you've got 88 on the board and 55, I believe. Accepting help from another, delegating authority. Okay, so this over here, needing to accept help or ask for help from somebody, whatever this burden is, I feel like it could be a financial thing. Is there anything else in this deck for Pisces? Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Lady of the Lake. Absolute truth, courage, self-respect, and taking responsibility. I'm going to take that card for you guys because I feel like this card sums up all of this. Accepting the absolute truth. Having the courage and the own self-respect for you to stand up for what you're seeing or what you're believing. Maybe you need the courage to stand up for yourself, to yourself, and be like, okay, we're not connecting with those people anymore. We're not connecting, we're not doing these negative vices or habits anymore. The raven and the butterfly also with beauty and coincidences. And the serpent, knowledge and healing. So through creative projects, you may have been really called to do something that you don't normally do or something, pick something back up from childhood that you would previously do. Whatever this is that you're being called towards, don't feel silly. Don't feel like it's a s scam, I guess. That's what I'm trying, that's what I heard. Don't feel like it's a scam. Don't feel like it's too good to be true. There's something that spirit's trying to lead you toward, Pisces. Give somebody or something the benefit of the doubt. Don't discourage, don't discount any info that comes to you by looking at these as well. If you want to pause and screenshot it and then so you can zoom in and study the words on these cards also. Look, the hanged man, yeah, seeing something from a different perspective. Can we get more clarity for Pisces in this situation? Maybe it's a burden that you're shedding that you thought was a burden and then you were like, oh, I don't have to look at it that way. It could be around finances or material items since we have the five of pentacles in reverse and then have you guys heard of dark night of the soul this could be something that you're experiencing having this a lot of reflection upon yourself or things that happened in the past but this is helping to bring something into balance for you some sort of emotional balance can you clarify the hanged man something here it's going to take a lot of work yeah it's in finances too or how you view uh jobs or career we a lot of us are raised to believe that we have to go you know we graduate high school then we 
and then we go to college and then we're supposed to find the love of our lives while in college and get married but then also try to establish a really good career so one two three four five five of wands in reverse so you're moving away from those conflicting energies or people around you those combative people who try to make you they might have felt like they they knew best what was best for you and you went by their choices that they made and decisions that they made for you instead of you following your true heart so this is in reverse this is what you're walking away from and so the burden could be somebody else's negative energy somebody who just maybe you tell them your good ideas and then they're just like oh i don't think that's good for you what are you or that would never work out why are you doing that or you know so, just somebody who's just really good quick to dog you and down you you don't need them you don't need them pisces it's okay it's okay to walk away to move away okay this is your choice though it's your choice the five of cups in reverse you got five 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 here the five of pinnacles in reverse the five of wands in reverse and the five of cups in reverse it's like too much uh, this could be three different individuals here that you're needing to walk away from as well could be family members spirit saying it's okay don't let them guilt trip you into staying just because they're family okay toxic people are still toxic people these energies are still toxic around you right but it's like don't fear about what it is that you're walking away from because you'll in time you'll be moving towards somebody else who's maybe someone who's even uh in the same boat as you or has kind of the same background or where you're coming from energetically emotionally or mentally or even geographically okay the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor can you clarify the wheel of fortune please spirit for pisces what is okay queen of cups yeah some sort of emotional offer some emotional fulfillment healing yourself yeah going to calmer waters coming out of this eight of swords mentality feeling bound blind right but you're gonna this is gonna be you making the right choice you can't make a wrong cho decision right now going towards calmer waters something about a work venture as well <sighs> someone's higher self would like to give you a message previous loved one we need to let each other go so this is another confirmation for you whether this is family this is you know um, a partner a friend you don't know how hard it was to let you go if you're interested in a more in-depth personal romance read my contact information is below okay and as I say, my contact information says I'm afraid to contact you. 818 on the timer as I look over. This could be someone you're trying to heal from that walked away from you in the past also. They wish things could have been different. They're afraid to reach out. Maybe you're afraid to reach out with them. To them. I know I was a distraction from the pain and it's time for me to heal now. My life is not together as it seems. I will wait for a sign from you. So take that, put that wherever you want to, okay? I'm going to pick these up. I'd like to say I don't remember a lot that comes out of my mouth when I do these reads either. But if you want to comment below to let me know what's going on. Or let me know if it resonated for you, Pisces. And if this isn't really making sense to you, and it's not really ringing true, go check out the other Pisces Zodiac reads on my channel. Let's see what signs Spirit are, is going to give you to let just let you know that it's all okay. Spirit, what signs are you giving to Pisces? What signs or synchronicities? I just heard 444. Signs or synchronicities labyrinth number 15 so you could be seeing 5115 or 1515 or 66 double numbers it doesn't have to be triple angel numbers double numbers or any odd number that keeps repeating in your life 
and whenever you see the labyrinth it's just a sign or even the bullseye to that it's just part of your journey whatever's happening right now it is part of your journey any other signs for Pisces that one felt like it succulents resilience remember that you were strong and you're very resilient Pisces Spirit team could be sending your, you your own sign too. The fish over here. And the number eight or the infinity symbol and the spiral, this kind of remind me of a spiral. Unlimited potential, because you're full of unlimited potential. Again with the sevens here. On the bottom of the deck, divine guidance with stars on number 33. And then bees, number 37 with community. So. Finding that right community, finding that like-minded community, it'll be happening for you, Pisces. There's a little more for Pisces here. The willow, so weeping willows here, two of forces, which is the two of wands. The queen of scrolls, there's a new beginning, a new contract coming in for you, and a rebirth after an ending a rebirth in something so put it where it fits for you a rebirth in finances material items a rebirth in community friends a rebirth in finances did i say that already job whatever affirmations for positive change so your spirit team is suggesting to you to use positive affirmations to help to help your um mindset or your perspective around something this is going to help you to see it from a different light a higher perspective a different perspective a different point of view plant the seeds that's funny how we have plant the seeds and i'm putting it over the succulent so maybe you're wanting to um, do the creative endeavor is maybe gardening or something but also plant those seeds of manifestation take this pen pen and paper where do you want to see your life where do you want to see yourself in three months mentally physically emotionally whatever it is write down a goal write down a story for yourself and write it down as if you're living it already like for example i am so happy right now i have my dream job that pays x amount of money for each hour and i have weekends off and we have holidays off and paid time off you know whatever it is I, I'm, I'm really happy in my garden in my three bedroom home with the fenced yard and my cat you know whatever whatever it is like make your story okay and meditation will help bring clarity as well on the bottom of the deck i have give in to the passion also music is very meditative for some people where what else are they coming from the shadow attribute for this card says pretension to much deeper knowledge than you actually possess or the light attribute says delights in the arts without having to be a professional alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits but i'm coming back over here they're showing me the succulents card so something you might not feel and she's holding a potted plant here so you might not feel disregard what i said on these cards okay you might not feel like you are you have a green thumb maybe you've never tried to garden in your life but all of a sudden you're getting these synchronicities and these signs to go for it get you a couple of potted plants and see how it goes. What do they have to look forward to on Pisces? Uh, financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now an unexpected supporter of your cause. Also with the willow tree in another deck, the willow depicts to family. So there could be a family member that's coming in that would be, maybe that's whom you're um, resisting asking for help from is a family member, but it's saying that they would be an ex a supporter of your cause okay and then we also have cautious but wise action meticulous attention to detail kindness to others so with the queen of scrolls and the infinity but the note back book here cautious but wise action meticulous attention to detail so try to be as detailed as you can about what it is you see for your future and two more cards here and then we're going to call it quits on this positive changes are on their way of welcome relief from troubled times traveling or relocating 
you might feel like, well, I don't want to move just yet. I don't want to uproot the kids. You know, it might be a little bit of an upheaval for them emotionally, but they will get over it eventually, okay? And then we've got seek now an, an intellectual solution to your problem. The need to act quickly and decisively, sudden or unexpected changes. So I just heard like rushing in the night, leaving in the night. So there might have been a situation where you had to get up and pack the kids up and leave right then. There is a better choice, not seeing things clearly, running away from the truth. Not seeing things clearly, but what you're going through right now is an awakening. It's an emotional awakening, an energetic awakening, a physical awakening. Change the way you're looking at this situation. Embrace your uniqueness. It's okay to have a temporary pause in action, Pisces. And bring fun into everything you do. Juggling multiple priorities or jobs. An exceptional talent for multitasking. You have infinite possibilities here. And also we have justice. Take the time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end. Fair and objective decisions. So all these cards talking about making the right choice, the right decision, a fair decision. Before you make that decision though, look at it from all points of view as much as you can, okay? And there could be a family member or, or a friend that you're needing to reach out to to say, hey, can you look at this perspective? Maybe this was you and you had instances where er you quit telling people stuff because they were pulling you down and, and you know, trying to demean you or defend your honor. I don't know why I'm thinking defend your honor, but anyways, so it's like go towards this per it's okay to ask for advice from someone i guess restricting grounding foundations i'm gonna leave it there though for you pisces okay and check out the other pisces reads yeah there we've got false person here an official person in your community so might be hard for you to trust people Pisces, and that's okay too, but I feel like there's someone, in, um, you might meet this person at work or at a new job, but someone you can trust. This is going to be a gift to you. We've got child in reverse though, and then lovers. So, healing your inner child. All right, I'm just kind of pushing and kind of digging now. I need to quit. All right, Pisces, this is all I have for you. I hope it helped. I hope it resonated. If it did, hit that like and subscribe button. Feel free to comment below. And the time now that I'm ending this is 434. So make, up sh make sure you guys look up those uh, spiritual meanings on Google behind the numbers I mentioned in the read, okay? Love and light.